Welcome, class, to a workshop on Coach Joe rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe rule number 22, which states, Methods should have very few lines of code. There is no limit to the number of lines of code allowed in a method. Each developer will have their own opinion and each situation will be different. Since there is no correct answer, ideally there should be five or less lines. Fifteen or less could be satisfactory. However, as more lines of code are added, is the method performing one action? For example, look at this method. A warning flag should go off in your head when you see 24 lines of code. Is more than one thing happening? Looking closer, it creates a number to guess, prompts the player to guess a number, determines the result of the guess, displays that result, loops while the number has not been guessed, and the game ends. Even though the code works, your instincts are correct. There is more than one thing happening. Why is it bad? Your first thought should be poor design. Not to mention, it could be difficult to understand, time-consuming to fix, and breaking several Coach Joe rules. If the number of lines exceeds your established threshold, make sure these rules are not broken. Rule number seven. Is the method doing one thing? If not, consider breaking up the method into smaller methods. Rule number four. Does the name of the method accurately describe the action being performed? If not, consider a better name that reveals the intent. Rule 35. With too many lines in a method, often proper testing and line coverage is sacrificed. Rule 31. If any shortcuts were taken with the code and Coach Joe rules, then the code is less optimal, which means more technical debt. I challenge you to establish a line count threshold for methods to help avoid a poor design. Leave a comment down below. How many lines is too many lines in a method? Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break!